I don't know if you were watching earlier, but uh, we were looking at this abundant array of uh, meats, fruits, dips, and cheeses on a wooden platter. Remember that? Indeed, indeed. And if you are in the market for a charcuterie reward, we have the lovely Alyssa Martinez joining us this morning to tell us all about what she puts together. And we were drooling <laughs> over this setup that you've got. I mean, that is just, honestly, it's beautiful in addition to, I'm sure, being delicious. Hi, Alyssa. Hi. Okay, so tell us all about these boards. It's only boards. Is that what you call it? Yes, only boards. Okay. Uh, now, um, is this one of those I, uh, COVID babies? COVID business babies? <laughs> yes, it's yeah. a COVID business baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, when everyone is at home, um, I just started making boards, and it became a little more than expected. And um, I gave it a little thought and realized that this, was kind of starting to take off. So mm -hmm. I started it as like a hobby and it's now my full time business. So I want to know more about how people can order these because obviously you have a huge display. So do you have people decide what they want or do you kind of do that for them? And, and would you pair the meats and cheeses and things on your own? Depending on what their event is, um, sometimes people want something individual, sometimes mm -hmm. people want something on the go. Uh, depending on what their event is, and then I have a menu that I offer for each different thing. Um, and then anytime somebody, for the majority of time, everyone tells me that uh, I could choose whatever. No one's picky, they just kind of want a variety of things. Mm. Um, and depending if you have like any dislikes, it's just not included. Mm -hmm. so. Let me ask you about those olives that you have right there. Hello. Uh, those olives are larger than Dina's dog. Where do you get those olives? They're amazing. Um, are you an olive fan? I'm an olive love fan. Olives. I love olives. <laughs> Sean, Sean loves olives too. Sean, yeah. you've got a thumb. There are olives there. It would I feel fit like your on thumb your is thumb. naked. Yeah, just put the olive on your thumb and then eat it. <laughs> Who doesn't love doing that? They are about the size of Brewski, too, Cody. Look at that. That's yeah. a huge <laughs> olive. That's great. Okay, so Alyssa, I got to ask you because I'm looking at your uh, your Instagram page. Dina and I've been ogling, uh, ogling rather, your Instagram page, only boards uh, on Instagram. Uh, I'm curious, as a vegetarian, are you also able to charcuterie a vegetarian charcuterie board? Ooh. Yes, I've actually done a few gluten free, dairy free. What? Um, Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, just depending on your like dietary needs. Yeah. Um, surprisingly, I do actually get a lot of gluten free. Mm, I've okay. only done a few dairy free, but I think that the dairy free cheeses that are out there are kind of selective. Okay. And yeah. every time I've done one, I just get rants and raves about it. Fabulous to know. I love and, it. And um, for all the vegetarians, there's always a crudite or some type of veggie when mm -hmm. you do. Um, a spread, so yeah, yep. a little crudite with hummus. Yeah. I love that. Mm. Well, again, you can check her out on Only Boards on Instagram. She says to DM to order or for any inquiries, and she's got the full charcuterie experience on there as well in photos. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of pick and choose yeah. what you like. But Alyssa, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Only Boards Charcuterie. We're going to have all the information on our website as well, and you can also send her an email there uh, if you would like to order just in time for the holidays. Cody, mm -hmm. stop drooling. You're going to mess up the equipment. Thank, thank you. <laughs>